What's up guys, today is the day, the first day of WWDC 2021, and you're probably all super stoked for iOS 15. So in today's video, we'll show you all how you can download and install the first iOS 15 developer beta onto your personal devices so you can take part of the beta process for the next few months for iOS 15. Now, before we get started, make sure to check out channel memberships down in the video description below for iOS 15 exclusive content, beta profiles, and there's a whole lot more coming in the next couple of weeks. A link to that will be in the video description below. Now, before we get to installing, downloading, and all that really cool stuff, I do want to make sure to let you know that there are some very short steps you might wanna take before updating to iOS 15, that first developer beta. Now, these steps are all to protect your device and the data on it, so maybe just take a quick listen to hear some ways you can make this process as safe and as simple as possible. Now, number one is always back up your device before going to a beta build like the one we'll be installing today. It's better just to be safe than sorry, so definitely back up your device via the computer using Finder on a Mac, or you can just use third-party apps like iMazing as well. There's also the iCloud backup feature as well in the settings app that works pretty well, so definitely check that out if you don't have access to a computer. Now, the reason you want to back up your device is just in case you run into any issues whatsoever and need that backup to restore all of the information and settings that you currently have set up on your device. Now, moving on to number two, and that is delete any previous beta profiles that you have on your device, whether that be public or developer beta profiles. You need to remove these as these will not be valid for iOS 15 and will only get in the way of you getting iOS 15 onto your device. So to do this, head over to the settings app, go into the general menu, and from there, go down into the menu labeled profile. Here you can see the installed profiles you have and you can tap on the one um, that you want to delete and you can see the option to remove it. Now after this process is done, I always suggest that you go ahead and restart your device after doing this just to ensure that everything is cleared away. Now the last and final thing to do is make sure that you have a good amount of battery on your device. What would be even better is to just have your device plugged in during the installation process of iOS 15 to ensure that you don't run out of power during the update to iOS 15. It might take a long time to update. Now just keep in mind that if your system shuts down during an update, you run a very, very high chance of completely bricking your device and not being able to recover any data from it. So with that said, these updates can take quite a bit of time, as I said before, so make sure that you have a good amount of battery or are plugged in before starting the installation process. Okay, so with those suggestions out of the way, let's talk about how you can actually update to iOS 15. There are actually two possible ways. The first is through an IPSW file where you'll need a computer, or you can use a beta profile that installs the update over the air. Now, Apple has done it both ways in the past, but we will update you on which method to use via the video description down below, so stay tuned for more news on that. So either way, you'll be prepared and just remember to check the links and instructions down below for all of the info on what process to use. Now, first up is the IPSW file method. And if you need to use an IPSW file for install, check the links down below for access to those install files. And also make sure that you select the correct device as the install will only work so long as the IPSW file matches your specific device. Now, if you're running macOS Big Sur, you can actually use the updater tool in the Finder application to manually update your device to iOS 15. Now, if Apple does in fact use this method and you don't have access to a PC or Mac, unfortunately, there's really no way you can update until a beta profile is released to allow you that over the air update. The second and easiest method is via a developer beta profile, that over the air method that I just talked about. Now I have a link down below for our regular viewers and a separate one for channel members in the developer category because the public links tend to be taken down because Apple doesn't want these profiles distributed in mass quantities. So for channel members, 
only. The profile will be updated quite regularly throughout the beta process, so you guys can always have access to those beta profiles. The link to that will be located in the developer category of the members only community tab, just in case you are a member and want to check that out. Now, when you guys get that profile downloaded onto your iPhone or any other iDevice, all you have to do is open it up on your device, install it, restart your device, and then the update will become available via the software update page. Now from there, you will have access to iOS 15 and you can of course switch to the public beta profiles when those are released, likely around the time that the third developer beta is released in just a couple of weeks. Okay, so those were the two possible ways you can install the iOS 15 developer beta profile onto your device. And just in case those methods did not work or you have any questions whatsoever, please leave those in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get back to each and every one of you as soon as possible. Now, if this did work for you, I hope that you enjoy iOS 15 and please consider hitting that like button and getting subscribed. It helps out the channel and you'll be able to stay up to date with all of the update videos that we'll have for you guys on iOS 15 that will be coming in the next couple of months. Also, that link down below, um, I'll include beta profiles for watchOS, tvOS, macOS, and other software that was just released and announced today, so you are free to use those links as well. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video, and I just wanted to remind you one last time, if you are hopping onto the developer beta builds, definitely consider becoming a channel member, specifically as a developer category member, because there are so many perks for this upcoming iOS 15 beta experience that you will not want to miss out on, like giveaways, previews, and a whole lot of other cool items. Now, before you guys head out, definitely check out the sponsor of today's video, Backflip. Their trade-in services are honestly the easiest out there that I've experienced, and it's super quick and easy to get cash for your old devices so you can upgrade to new ones. So with that said, thank you again for watching, and enjoy iOS 15 and the entire beta process as we see it for the next couple of months here. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on in the background, check the channel information link down in the video description below. You can check out channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week talking about everything going on in the world of tech. So thank you again for watching today's video, and we hope to see you guys in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.